Hi guys, welcome to SAP Consultant Zone. Today we are going to see about two very very important settings we need to do before create a material. Without these two activations, we can't create a material without error. So just get into the video. The first one is, so I just uh, type the code, T code, O M S 2. So this is the T code. So first one is quality value updating. So this is the first one. I'm just click enter. So now it's loading. Okay, this is the page. Here you can see the material types. So basic things we 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 all know the basic materials, raw materials and semi finished goods and the finished materials. So basically we we just consider these three materials. So first of all, I'm just going to search the the raw material. So I'm just searching. So otherwise we just. Uh, search through this just click mark ROH is nothing it's a raw material and just show it okay here you can see mm, yeah ROH is a raw material and just click the tick mark now yeah here just select it and just click double click on that and here just uh, select the position value area is our plant so just scroll down so S Z15 is our plant, just select it and material type is raw material, so ROH and just click it. So this is our plant and this is the material type, we need to enable quantity updating and value updating, give the tick mark and okay, these two things we need to do and then just save it, okay, just click the tick mark okay that's it and just go back and we need to select the another material so let's select the uh, yeah okay it's a third material it's a finished product and then click on double click on that again just scroll down you can see okay here you can see yes z15 is our plant just enable these two things and then save it again just click the save button okay data was saved and just go back and again we need to activate help material it's a semi finished product and then double click on quantity value updating and again scroll down Okay, here you can see yes Z15 is our plant and here you just activate these two things quantity updating and value updating and save it again okay data was saved and save and then go back so this is the first one we must do this before creating a material okay next just going to see the second one it's a MRP activation so the second one is MRP activation so without this activation we can't do any MRP process in SAP MM so I'm just going to do this so just listen carefully okay this is the code just note it down and click the first one material requirement planning so just click on it and here you can scroll down or you can search through the position so here you can see our plant yes is at one file so and just just click the tick mark now your material now your mrp uh, which means requirement planning you can activate the requirement planning so this mrp activation is a very very important step here and just save it again and just tick so these are all the these two steps are very very important before creating a material in sap mm so definitely i think these settings will helpful to you so without these two things we can't create a material without error so just do practice guys thank you